In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the drawing sheet for your uh, assignment for holes. So right here is what it looks like. We're going to practice this on your holes practice uh, part that you've already made. All right, so here's the one that you've already made and you've saved. Now you need to open up a drawing sheet. If you haven't done that already, go ahead and pause and open up a drawing sheet. Remember whenever you have a drawing sheet that you need to do save as because you probably pulled it out of the R drive. So click save as right now. Uh, name it, whatever that you're going to name it. And then uh, now from then on you'll be hitting save and it's not going to kick you out. So it really it's horrible whenever you forget about that you still have it in the R drive and then you click save after you finish the whole thing and it crashes and you have to do it all over again so make sure you click save as and and start that now before you forget okay so this is the part that you've already made I went ahead and colored mine because I thought it would be prettier but uh, for this assignment right here that you're doing notice it's yellow so try to get the uh, closest color that you can find to make that match. Okay, so I'm going to do a drawing sheet. I click base and I'm going to go in and find my part. I already have it open so it automatically filled in for me. Notice on the sheet here I'm looking for a top view. So I go in and find that top view and I click finish custom view. Remember you click this button here and we've done this before but just in case you'd forgotten. All right, I want it colored and I don't want any hidden lines on it. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and place it where I want it. Oh, notice that the scale you need to, uh, whenever you're doing your actual drawing sheet, you need to notice the scale. For me this is a good scale uh, for this particular drawing sheet. So I'm going to left click and place it there. And I'm going to right click and say OK. Alright, so now I need a section view. Alright, so I'm going to do that next. I'm going to say section view. Notice how they match. Right, notice that this section view Okay, you can tell that it's a section view based on this right here. Notice how it matches there. Okay, so I click section and this is the uh, the view that I'm going to take a section of. So I click, I left click once. Now I gotta draw the line. Alright, I'm wanting it to go right down the center. So notice how I have these little dotted lines from that center point. I want it to start a little bit to the left, not right on the line. So I'm going to start a little to the left and I'm going to left click and now I'm just drawing a line just like I would on a sketch. A little ways over I'm going to left click again. I'm going to right click and I'm going to continue. Okay so now the next view is going to be down here. All right, whenever I look at this, the scale, I need to make sure my scale matches up. For you, you'll be watching your drawing sheet, make sure that they match up. This was a one, so my section view is going to be a one. I need it colored, it's highlighted good, and I don't want any hidden lines. It's exactly what I need. So I'm going to left click. All right. Now, I'm going to drag this down a little bit more so that way I have room for dimensioning. And these are not exactly the way I want them to look these section lines. Right, so I'm going to change them up a little bit. I'm going to left click on it. I'm sorry, I'm going to right click. Right, so right click on top of it and I'm going to edit these. All right, if I want the lines to be a little farther apart, I'm going to change that scale. All right, or a little less, I can change the scale to maybe 0.1. Right. I want them at a 45 degree angle. I would leave it like this if I wanted it maybe at a 30. Notice it just changes it. Okay, I'll leave it at the 45 for now. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it. So I click color and I'm going to make mine white so I can see them a little bit better. Okay. So 
maybe I want a little bit more room in between them. And change it to a 1. Just the amount of room in between on the scale. If I wanted to shift it a little bit, maybe I have a line that I don't want to match up with something else. I might shift it a little bit. The weight. Okay, maybe I want the weight of the lines to be a little different. Notice that they get a little bigger. Just play with it so that we can see what you like best. Right, I can also change the design if I wanted. Okay, for this particular assignment, you are just trying to match what they already had. Right, but that's how you change it around. You can do a double. But again, we're just trying to match. So click OK. If I needed to change anything on this particular section, I could double click and I could change any of the wording to match what I wanted it to say. Okay. Now, next on here, we need to be able to do another view right here. All right. So we want to project this view over here. So I'm going to project this one right here and I'm going to drag it up. All right? Right click, create. It's obviously too big. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit that view. I want to change the scale. So I have to check this so that way I take that check mark off so I can work with it. Maybe I want it at uh, one half, whatever size that maybe would look better. And I do want, like just like on here, it says the scale and I want that to show up. So if I want it to show up, I have to click this little light bulb. Okay, I would like to illuminate that scale on there. And I click OK. And of course, I could uh, change the view again if I needed to. I could edit the view to change the size. Okay. I can also double click on this and I can change the wording to say whatever I wanted um, or make the sizes different. So let's look at it again. All right. Now you need to learn how to uh, do the holes, how to annotate your holes. So I'm going to annotate. I'm going to click on hole and thread. Okay, adds a hole or thread note with a leader. That's what we want to do. So I'm going to click on it, go to the hole I want to do. I'm going to left click and drag it up. Okay, left click, right click, OK. Now if I want that to look a little different, of course now I can change the, I can drag it around to where I want it to. I'm going to click it again, left click, drag it up, left click, right click, OK. All right, and you would continue on that way all the way across. OK, if I wanted this one down here instead, like they had it, I could just drag it down here and drag this around so that it's touching in the same spot. It really does not want me to do that. So in this case, I'd just go ahead and delete it and read it. Okay. So this time I'm going to go ahead and drag it just from here. Left click, right click, okay. All right, I would continue on that way. And the last one. Okay. And then you know how to dimension. All right. Just want to dimension your different sizes. Okay. All right. And then we can dimension these as well. Okay. So you know how to dimension, and if it's not quite the, I hit escape, then I can like move these to the point where I want them.
let's look at this and see if there's anything else on this page we need to do. All right, so now we also, we have not filled out all of this. So I am going to go up here to custom title block A, click the little plus, double click on filled text and fill in all of your information. It really doesn't have to match this one because it's not the same uh, title block. So fill in your information the way it should be. Right, remember with the creation date, you click creation date, you click this little button up here under I properties, go to project, go down to the creation date, click on today's date and apply that. Okay, so that way it'll fill in. Your file name fills in by itself. Your material, if we would have made this a certain material, it would have filled in. All right, so you do need to look at this and see if a material is on there, because there's not. Okay, revision number, scale. Revision number, you don't have any yet, because I haven't told you to change it. And your sheet number would be number one. Now we're ready for sheet number two. Okay, so how do we do this one? That's what I'm going to show you next. So we're going to place views, click new sheet, enter your information, just as it appears on the sheet that you're copying, and you're going to click OK. We're ready to start the new sheet. You need to put a top view on it again. Okay, again, mine is just auto filling in there because I have that part open. I want to go get a top view. And I'm going to place it where I want it. Again, I would look at the scale. I would look at everything that I wanted on it. Okay. I would left click because it's actually over here this time. I'm going to left click. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click OK. As you can tell, I forgot to color it. So I'm going to go back and color it. If you didn't catch that, uh, you want it colored and no hidden lines for this one. Click OK. Again, it's a section view. So I'm going to do section. I want this view to have a section of it. I want it to go right down the middle. So I just draw a line where I want the section to be cut. Right click, continue, and I drag it down here. Left click. Okay. Now notice on here, um, Let's see, actually, I want to do that again. I'm going to click section, this one, draw my line, left click, right click, continue. I can go over here. I forgot to go over here and do all that. I do want it colored. I don't want hidden lines. All right? I can change my view identifier right here. I can change my scale here as well. Okay, if I wanted a different scale, I can make this a be whatever I want it to be, whatever would cause it to match, okay? And then I want to go ahead and left click so that way it would match, okay? Now, what you haven't learned that is on this one, all right, so you can also change your uh, section lines the same way I showed you earlier. Now you need to know how to do this table. Okay. So I go to annotate because we need to make a table. And right up here where it says parts list, there's one next to it that says holes. Okay. So I want the whole selection. And I want it off of this view right here. And as you can tell on here, it's got this little circle on the left hand corner. I'm just going to make that match. I'm going to left click and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to select my holes. I'm going to right click, I'm going to create and I'm going to place it over here. Alright, so now I can modify my table make it the size I want it. 
Okay, I may have to drag this over here a little bit. Okay, now I've got, it tells me A1, B1, C1, so on and so forth. It makes sure that those match whenever you're working with them. Okay, now whole, it says it different over here, right? So it's LOC. So when I go back over here, I want this to say LOC. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to type in LOC. I'm going to hit OK. And now I can look at it. I've got XDIM, YDIM. Okay, so the X dimension, the Y dimension. Okay, because we have an X and a Y, right? X and Y directions. And then we have our sides. Right, so we have our X dimension, our Y dimension, and then we have our description, our size of each hole. Okay. Um, as you have questions, just ask. Uh, but this hopefully will give you enough information to finish this assignment.